I guess you can say I grew up a very creative kid. I loved superheroes, I loved to read, I loved to draw. And that carried through all the way into my high school years. It was a big part of me being creative and I did not want to stop. Where's Kirk? Kirk is on official business on the planet Uterus in the Alpha 4 system and uh, he's unavailable for contact right now. Moving into my college years, I was able to not only land some good jobs and experience, but I was able to fulfill a lot of dreams. One of them, getting a job at Walt Disney World. I was also able to get a lot of really fun jobs around Orlando that really gave me a chance to shine. Got myself a talent agent and actually started going off and doing auditions for TV shows, movies, and commercials. When it comes to home improvement, Lowe's knows. Then I started doing The Bear Show, a live stage show I came up with to help kids to read more. Then I got a job at Sony Pictures Television in Los Angeles. I moved out there, started doing more plays and comedy, commercials and TV shows. I started doing sketch comedy and it was a blast. So many talented people I got to work with. I ended up getting sick and I decided to come here to UAB to get treatment. Moving to the Magic City was another blessing in disguise. I got better and then dove back into being creative. I created an anti-bullying program for teens, started doing improv comedy, plays, and I created my own sketch comedy company. I made the choice to come back to school and UAB here I came. I started doing a lot of really fun projects here and things couldn't have seemed brighter. And then the coronavirus hit. And before we knew it, the entire world was shut down. Millions of people locked in, hundreds of thousands of people sick and dying. It's difficult for me not to let that affect, affect me. me. And it did. And I fell into a horrible depression. All of my classes, all of the work that I've done, all of the struggles I've gone through, all just seem to drift and nothing seemed to matter anymore. I couldn't get my mind going. I could not get those steps. Nothing was working. And it seemed like there was no end in sight. I've been down that road enough to know that if I didn't stop it, it'd just get worse and rewire my thoughts. I needed to adjust and make a change to the matrix in my head. And in the archives of my life, there is an abundance of positive inspiration that's gotten me to where I am now. There are objects that remind me of the creative process I have. people I love in my life, and family and friends. And there's also reminders of this journey is still ongoing. This is not the end. So when I focused on all of those things, then I started to make those steps forward. So I went back to my childhood and I started thinking about all of the things that have inspired me since I was a kid until now. And it was like a wave. Bit by bit, I started to get my momentum back. All of those creative references, all of those things I enjoyed as a kid are now starting to fuel the ladder I needed to get out of this depression. And step by step, I started to reflect upon all of these elements that I enjoyed. Everything from storytelling to art, to special effects, to history, it all came back. And before I knew it, I couldn't stop it. I was getting visual imagery from all of these elements that inspire me creatively and I did not want it to stop, and it didn't. So, bit by bit, I started to gradually get stronger, started to get out of that depression, and it's still going forward now. It's a process. It's not going to last forever, but at least I know I have the tools to get out of it next time.